Times of today. The new Radio Times. On the front cover of this week's Ready Optimus, husband and wife celebrity team Thora and Douglas Hurd take on giant haystacks and Clodagh Rogers in the first of a new series of pro-celebrity tag wrestling live from Jamaica. Plus, Lloyd Grossman visits the Elgin Marbles and tells us how and why he stuffed them into his mouth. Plus, there's lots of funny little ads for garden sheds and lifts for old people that go up the banisters. Plus, buried away somewhere, Victor Lewis Smith takes what he thinks is an hilarious look at television logos. Go, 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 go. Once upon a time, long, long ago, Mr. Photography married Miss Wireless, and soon after they gave birth to... a gaggle of bouncing baby television stations. Of course, none of these television stations had any identity of their own, and like all little babies, they cost a fortune, and all turned out nothing but an undifferentiated stream of puke and excrement. So, quick as a flash, God christened them all with their own distinctive logos, so people could tell whose ordure was whose. Using such advanced state-of-the-art graphic techniques such as cardboard cutouts, tracing paper, some glue and bits of string, these magnificent cultural icons were apparently voiced by members of the royal family... 90s television channel... ...made great use of regional dialect and relied on methods of animation abandoned by Walt Disney in 1920. There is a fundamental law of television which states that the grandeur of the logo is in inverse proportion to the importance of the TV station. This was Westwood Television's logo. And these were the not at all ship shaped premises of Westford TV, whose most notable production was. Or Modern Pig Farmer Today from Westford. Modern Pig Farmer Today. The station narrowly missed winning a BAFTA on a technicality. All its programs had pigs in them. Frankly, the galleon should have been. A peddler. Anyway, in reality, Westwood lost its franchise, so its flagship turned out to be the Titanic. But the band played on. On, on. We're playing a song called On. Curious name for a song, We're On. Song. But that's what they play. The band played On. We're playing a song called On. Boop, boop, Logos attempt to reflect the nature of the region they serve. This gentle animation, for example, suggests rural peace, pastoral tranquility, and... This is not the time for words. Oh dear. This is the time for us. Oh dear. It was spend, spend, spend with Anglia, like ten shillings and sixpence, which they recklessly spent on an airfix kit and a tin of silver paint, sticking the result on a dance-set gramophone turntable. Anglia, known for its tedious survival program about species too stupid to avoid extinction, such as the following, which all lost their franchise. No flowers or sympathy, please. After all, Southern made how and gave Fred Dynage his break. Why? Rediffusion was responsible for the Dickie Henderson half hour. And ATV made Crossroads, a show with characters so one-dimensional that when they were shot in profile, they completely disappeared from view. This is an important health warning. Viewers should only view the next logo through the piece of smoked glass which was supplied in this week's Radiotomist, Radio Times, I'm sorry. Those of you who buy the TV Times will unfortunately now be struck blind. Harleg experimented with this proboscopic logo in an attempt to induce mass epilepsy in their viewing audience on the principle that any reaction to their programs was better than none. What an absolute shy. They'd never use those techniques here at PBC Electrical Television, you know. Anyway, good night from continuity. Oh dear, my leg's given out. And a very... Special good night from in continuity. <laughs> <laughs>